The near close front unrounded vowel, or near high front unrounded vowel, is a type of vowel sound, used in some spoken languages. The symbol in the International Phonetic Alphabet that represents this sound is, i.e. a small capital letter I. The International Phonetic Association advises serifs on the symbol's ends. Some sans serif fonts do meet this typographic specification. Prior to 1989, there was an alternate symbol for this sound, the use of which is no longer sanctioned by the IPA. Despite that, some modern writings still use it. Handbook of the International Phonetic Association defines as a mid-centralized lowered and centralized close front unrounded vowel transcribed i or i diaresis and the current official IPA name of the vowel transcribed with the symbol is near close near front unrounded vowel however some languages have the close mid near front unrounded vowel a vowel that is somewhat lower than the canonical value of though it still fits the definition of a mid-centralized i it occurs in some dialects of English such as Californian, General American and modern received pronunciation as well as some other languages such as Icelandic and it can be transcribed with the symbol a lowered in narrow transcription. Certain sources may even use for the close mid front unrounded vowel but that is rare. For the close mid near front unrounded vowel that is not usually transcribed with the symbol or i see close mid front unrounded vowel. In some other languages such as Danish, Luxembourgish and Sutu, there is a fully front near close unrounded vowel, a sound between cardinal i and e, which can be transcribed in IPA with i or e. Sometimes, especially in broad transcription, this vowel is transcribed with a simpler symbol i, which technically represents the close front unrounded vowel. Topic: <laughs> Features Its vowel height is near close, also known as near high, which means the tongue is not quite so constricted as a close vowel, high vowel. Its vowel backness is front, which means the tongue is positioned as far forward as possible in the mouth without creating a constriction that would be classified as a consonant. Note that rounded front vowels are often centralized, which means that often they are in fact near front. It is unrounded, which means that the lips are not rounded. Occurrence Notes <inaudible> 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 <inaudible>